before COVID, we had only one reference lab. As far as viral infections are concerned, we had the Uganda Virus Research Institute. But when COVID came, we worked with CDC. CDC has been really at the forefront of strengthening the services as far as viral and any, any epidemic outbreak surveillance in the country. CDC built capacity uh, and we've been able now to expand our capacity from one viral lab in UVRI. Right now, as I talk, we have many more labs in the country that can be able to even to diagnose COVID. So it, is, it has been a game changer, actually. I think diagnostic plays a big role in quality of care. Timeliness, the, the authenticity and the quality of the results make a lot of difference, in even, even we as the clinicians. So we thank CDC for that. By the time COVID came in, we took a decision as ministry to accredit more labs. Because we already had embraced SLAMTA, we already had SLAMTA auditors who assisted us in assessing all these laboratories. And tell you what, when the assessment was done, because of the SLAMTA that they had gone through, they met the requirements for, for, for accreditation. They had systems in place, quality systems, by safety was in place, HR was there, logistics management, and this is because these labs had already been enrolled on SLAMTA. And as we speak now, we've actually decentralized our COVID testing to, to even to the lower health facilities, to the regional referral hospitals. And this means we have increased access. We've effectively managed the COVID, but this is because we had built a system through this SLAMTA program. And I think had it not been that, we would have, we would have lost trust in our results by our stakeholders. Uh, we would not have managed to test or increase access. So we really, appreciate that Uganda took up this and it formed us ready to be able to handle COVID. So we've effectively handled COVID because we had a good lab system that was strengthened by, by this LAMTA program, yes.